Good day, this is Joe Tompkins for Finmo. We're going to be talking about taking an application when you already have the data, potentially on the phone with the client or from an old application, and you want to re-enter it, and then you want to invite the client in to confirm the details that you've entered. This will also allow them to digitally sign the consent form when they agree and submit back to you, and it's also going to show them the list of the smart documents required to complete the application. So let's go ahead and start a new application. We're going to go in here, we're going to say, yes, I'm working on this deal, thank you. Now you might be working on a team with a licensed assistant and you just want to pass this over to them to allow them to complete the deal on your behalf. So you're going to have the basic information and you're going to go through the application with them. At this point, you're going to uncheck this box and you're going to create the new deal. It's now going to take you into an application where the borrower cannot edit yet. So you're going to go through and you're going to obviously know what they're doing, they're purchasing. Let's assume that they've signed a purchase offer. They're buying a place for six fifty. dollars They're putting down $50,000. They have and they intend to own, be owner occupied and is closing on April 3rd, the year 2020. Financing is set for March 15th, 2020, and they put down $10,000 as a deposit. Save changes. Next section is personal details. We can edit these. First time buyer, yes. We'll make them single on this application. Social insurance number is optional still. We'll make them born in March in 83, and they have no dependents. Save changes. Again, so we'll minimize this, move on to an address. Finmo has the autocomplete address, of course, so you can just start typing their address. And let's make them in Thornhill today. There we are. And they are currently renting. It's going to ask how much they pay for rent. And they've been there for longer than three years. Of course, if it's less than three years, they'll ask them for a previous address. Save changes. On to the next section, employment. So if they're just employed, let's say they work for the OPP, and they go ahead and click in here, it's going to look up for OPP Ontario, perfect, auto completes the address, and we know that they're in the government, and they are professional, they are constable, they work full time, they get paid a salary, and they make about 145 and they receive overtime, and they've been doing this for longer than three years as well, just to save us time doing this example today. Save changes. So now we have their employment, their address, and we can get into other information. Other income we can, of course, add. Very easy. Just simply click on that and choose the type, and off you go. Assets are very easy. Click on assets. Let's say they're using their savings account, and it's owned by Joseph Borrower, and it's at the TD and they have 80,000 and they're going to be using 50 of it towards a down payment save changes what the system is doing right now is building a list of documents for you and you can view them right up here before you even invite the client so let's assume we don't have the subject property details yet so let's minimize this now let's take a peek at the document screen and you can see that the system has already made a complete list of everything that we need for the file based on the way the application has been entered. But now what you want to do is you've entered all the details you have. So now you want to go ahead and you want to invite the borrower in because you want them to confirm it, of course, and you want them to digitally sign the client consent. So now you're going to go ahead and you're going to expand this section, invite the borrower, and you can say, hello, Joseph, please confirm the details and submit application. Once submitted, you will see the list of conditions. Thank you. And off it goes. All right, let's look at what, see what it looks like for the client now. So the client is going to get something from your team and it's going to say please confirm the details and submit the application. They click on this they're going to be asked to enter their own password again. Details are there. Create their password. 
We want to make sure their data is secure. Once they're in the application, they can go through and they can just review everything. You're purchasing a home, sign a purchase offer, 650, 50 down, owner occupied, closing date, save and continue. Next, they can add a borrower if they wish to or finish adding borrowers. Edit details, employment, so they can go ahead and look at this, OPP, looks good, save income. They can add more income if they wish, finish adding income. Assets, there's their assets, they can of course add more assets if they want and finish adding assets. If they own a property, they can go ahead and add a property, really straightforward, same great, easy, consumer friendly application, or finish adding properties. They have the realtor, they can add them here. If you added it, it would show up on their application here as well. And of course, they can also add a lawyer. Finish adding professionals. At the review stage, here they go. They can go through, they can put a little note back to you. Hopefully spell it right. The client consent form, this is controlled by your administrator or yourself. They agree to it, they're agreeing to online consent and they finish and submit and they're sent directly to the list of documents required based on the answers to the application. So these are all preset by your administrator or yourself. Now the client can go ahead and begin uploading the documents or have a list of documents that they can email you or they can drop you off in, in the lovely manila envelopes. So that is it. That's starting an application from notes you have or from a conversation with the client or from a past application, whatever it is, and getting it to the client so they can review it, submit it, consent, and get the list of documents. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.